thought it would be really cool to do another blog of death. It's the, you know, mainly because this keyboard can't literally cannot keep up with me. I'll be typing something like go uh, Fred danced on the moon, and I'll get food that because it, it can't keep up with me. And this keyboard, which I loved, my husband said. In order to clean it, all you have to do is put it in the dishwasher. And it got wet, and now it don't work. So I'm kind of uh, up the keyboard bad creek right now. But anyway, thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, we have a, you know, my office appears to have changed. You can now see the happy fairy clock. Woo! Is this because I have moved? I might have mentioned it, I don't know. I moved to a new residence. Uh, I'm back up on the line. Um... Heavenly Bright and Ten Confessions will be resuming soon in their production, the sooner the better. And uh, I like it here. I like it here a lot. Um, the people, this is like a really tiny town. It's really, really tiny. Um, the nearest anything is 15 minutes away driving, um, except for one little Dollar General that's always full and busy because there's nothing. There's trees and grass. And uh, I have really bad allergies, you know, and uh, I've been breathing a lot better since getting out here. <laughs> Except for that. <coughs> because as per moving tradition, when I got here, I decided to calm down really, really sick. Woo! And I'm still getting over that. But overall, I can, I can feel the difference in the house. It's just great. It's bigger. And uh, the office is bigger, so I'm going to be able to be a lot more productive. Although one of my printers died in transit, so... Uh, and the other printer decided to die on me today in a most gorgeous explosion of sparks. It was it literally went up to the ceiling and left a burn mark on the wall um, because the cord was bad. So everybody check your power cords on your on your printers. <laughs> yeah, that, that was uh, interesting. Uh, it still works though. I thought I was down for the count. <laughs> that was scary. Um, and uh, let me think what else. I'm um I have a uh, out here where all the horses are. I'm like, oh, I gotta return to one of my hobbies because I'm trying to uh, make it where I have a, a me day ever so often to do what I want. And My hobbies are model horses and zines. And uh, so I will be doing a model horse hobby doll zine um, ever so often. Not often. If anybody wants to contribute, you know how to find me. But um, yay! So things are moving forward. I have, and uh, yeah. I think that's it on these. I have a Q&A scheduled on Goodreads on the 18th at 2 o'clock Central. That would be 1,400 hours for you military folks. And uh, so if you want to attend, it's uh, there's a link to it on the Heavenly Bride website. Just hunt me up. Ask me weird questions. I might answer. Um, so yay, yay. Um, and so that was just, you know, I just thought it would be really cool to do a little update. And uh Let's see if it'll let me show you out my window. There's Charles. Oh, that's my smurf that she seems to be sleeping. This is what I moved to. Oh my god, the fresh air. You see, I lived in a peopleless place growing up. And uh this place is a lot like when I was a kid. I was um I took an exploration walk and I found a path going through the woods and I found a cemetery in the middle of nowhere. And I went, went, went a little further and I found rambling roses, which are my favorite rose. And uh, a pool full of baby crawl daddies. Yes, I did say crawl daddies, not, not crayfish. They are crawl daddies. And they were so cute. They were about that, that big. They were so adorable. And uh, they were just everywhere. Yeah, it was free albums. So, uh, when we first moved here, because uh, my husband's still stationed in Fort Polk, um, it was like a wave of homesickness because the place that I grew up in that looks like this doesn't exist anymore. They raised it and made it into cow pastures and strip mall. And, uh, yeah, things are really dirty and filthy there now. With, you know, we, oh, yeah, sure, there's, there's housing complexes that have required clean yards, but it's still filthy and dirty because everything that made it clean is gone. And uh, so... Moving here was like stepping back in time. When we first moved here, I was really, really homesick. I was homesick. And now it's like, yay. Of course, you know, I do look forward to the day that I get to return to my house in Illinois. Yeah. And uh, what do you think? Oh, uh, because of the husband's weight requirements uh, and my 
always failing attempts to watch what we eat and do menus and, and uh, lose weight. Uh, he has uh, taken over the diet. Now, he was already cooking a lot, but he has taken over the diet so that when we go out to eat, he even goes, okay, that's good for you, that's fattening. And it's been working. I lost a little, little bit. And then the move, of course, you have to eat a lot because there's no way to cook. We don't have a stove here. We don't have a refrigerator. We can't afford one. We have to somehow get a lawnmower over the next two weeks. It's going to be fun because uh, it's a long story involving the Army making promises. And so, therefore, we got this house thinking it was going to be good. And then the Army were negging all those promises at literally the last second in such a way that we are uh, hurting. But that's the Army. And, you know... If any, if I had any faith in in, in the in bureaucracy before I, I married into the army, I don't have any faith in it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it, you know, um, I hope to have uh, Ten Confessions Chapter Two finished very soon um, because a lot of it actually is already drawn. I just have to freshen the art because it was drawn by hand on paper, and I'm using Manga Studio for Tin Confessions, as you know, and uh, because I like that look better. And so it's just a matter of, I mean, for Chapter 2, it's a matter of tracing. Now, when I get to Chapter 3, I'll be doing all new art again. And uh, things might slow down a bit, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So I, I'm hoping to put Chapter 2 out really soon. Of course, you know, in my world, soon could be a year, but I'm aiming for a lot sooner than that. And... Um, Heavenly Bride, as you'll notice, we're in a very chancy time, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the next page out on Friday um, on schedule, but, um, yeah, it's um, it's a scene that I have, well, one of the, I mean, I'm always saying, I agonized over this scene, I agonized over that scene, I don't know how to portray it, but this one, this one, because of uh, the event, that is happening, I knew it was delicate material, and so it was the one scene that I have uh, worried about the most through this creation, and now that we're here, and it's it's panning out pretty well, and uh, my subconscious has said, no, we must not show these horrible things, we will do a metaphor, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that, thank you, subconscious, you're my hero. Um, so, um, yeah, so a lot of things are going on, but uh, they're good things for the most part. I mean, uh, the mascot decided to move away. We won't discuss that. It just uh, Let's just say she left her mother in tears, and it took her mother four days to get in that, get her head in the art place that is required for creating. Um, and, uh, oh well, uh, we live in the winter. And, uh, yeah, um... So, I don't know, I could say that I am looking for a new mascot, but I think I'm going to let my cat do the new mascot. So, um, this is an announcement that my cat spook, uh, subject of the random voting incentive, is now the apocalypse mascot. She is the cat of the apocalypse, and she will doom you with her fur, because it is rather, rather pathetic that I am not allergic to the black cat, raw, the one that stares if, you know, so you'll feed him, but Spook gets in my chest, and I'm having asthma attacks, and I don't even have asthma. <laughs> she will be the new mascot, because death by allergies is one doom indeed. <laughs> so that's it. That's the news. Um, I, I hope um, you guys stop by the Q&A, and uh, of course, I'm always open to feedback, reviews, whatever. Um, even if you hate it, you know that I really, really appreciate it. Just don't call me names. Okay, call me names, make their their sexy ones. I mean, or be creative. You know, there's so many hundreds of thousands of words out there. And language is so beautiful. You can take two words and make a compound word. Holy word. You know, if you're gonna call me names, be original about it. Okay, you know, if you use the word cake in there, just remember that the cake 